Steve, we've had a nice little break, but we're uh, back with a bang again. Uh, we've got our own show on Saturday night, um, but on the same night, uh, luckily enough, it's in Liverpool as well. You got Mark Leach uh, with a, I believe it's been made into a title now. Yeah, it's a WBA international title and also uh, eliminated for the British title. So um, yeah, it's a good opportunity to Mark because he's been in the gym. He was going to fight. Lennox Lifko, our kid, and obviously we've got another fight for Lennox, which we'll speak about near the time. But uh, we ended up pulling that fight off our show because they both got better opportunities. And that's something that I've always said to the lads you know, you're in the gym and you're on one of our shows, but something crops up better. You know what I mean? Even if it affects our show, we're going to do the right choice for the boxer. And uh, this is what's happened with Mark. So he's in shape. He's a last minute call. Well, I wouldn't say last minute. He's probably got three weeks' notice for it. But uh, so again, it's a very good kid, Peter McGrail. Very good. Um, the way I look at this, it's a genuine 50 50 fight. Um, probably 18 months ago, you would have said Mark Leach was a strong favourite, but he's been on and had a, had, a, had a few losses. And then Peter McGrail, probably six months ago, we'd say he would have been a big strong favourite because he was on the, the build up to greatness, wasn't he? Top amateur, and he's expecting good things of him. And then he's gone and got chinned while he was um, fighting in America. And that was a fight he was winning. Crazy. But but he walked on to one and, 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 he, and he went down. He wasn't a massive shot. I was just probably caught him right, um, counter punch. And uh, that's what Mark Leach is, is, is really good at. So um, even though people are writing Mark Leach off on this one, I, I think the fools, um, I think it's a genuine 50 50 fight. And Peter McGrail will have doubts in his mind because he's just coming off a knockout loss. Mark is coming off a knockout loss, but he, he's been to losses before and, and come back. So um, not not many people are expecting things of him, and uh, I, I I think he could turn him over. But saying that, it, it, it's not an easy fight by any stretch of the imagination. Not an easy fight for either. Generally, fifty-fifty. A lot of pressure on them both, and both both have uh, done well to take it. So uh, yeah, let's hope. Uh, while we're in Liverpool, across the road, uh, Leachy pulls one off for Salford o o over there. That that would be good news. And then obviously, we've had a few weeks break and we're back now. And we've got a, a three-week run. Haven't we? We've got Liverpool yeah. Saturday, then we're up in Durham the Saturday afterwards, and then the Saturday after that we're back to back to Blackpool. But this this Saturday, I mean, obviously when we started it, there wasn't um, a matchroom show in. Um, Liverpool. It was actually in Leeds, wasn't it, for the Cattrall and Taylor, which got postponed. So then they, they knocked a, sh a quick event together and put it in Liverpool, which is a shame because you know uh, I think there's a show in Liverpool tonight, which is Friday. Then there's one tomorrow on the zone and, and ours as well. So uh, there's three shows in two days in Liverpool, and ours has been affected slightly. You know, we've had a few people pull off recently, Jake Bart, and then we had Kurt Wiggins, and then Wayne Denny. Um, so it's only a small venue, and every everyone who's on it's done okay with the ticket. So there'll still be a good atmosphere, but there's only five fights, I'm afraid. But, but it's five good fights, so that, yeah. that makes a difference, doesn't it? And um, It'd be good support and the reason we've gone to the Grand Central is because it's a it's a small compact hall you know it's like full with 800 people in and uh, a great great atmosphere and a what we've found in fighters. Olympia when 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 we have pull outs and let's say there's 600 people in the Olympia it, it's sparse and there's just no atmosphere and no. cold whereas this will be nice and warm and a good atmosphere so uh, yeah anyone who's coming down I'm, I'm tomorrow night Saturday will be um, in, in, in for the, a treat because it's a nice little compact venue right on top of the uh, the ring and there's going to be some good fights so the five fights that we've got um, Jade Burden making her debut from the Island Man trains with um, Danny Whitso to No Limits uh, she's fighting Sherry Barnes so you know the the, the, the girls are always competitive fights. Nice little shout out for uh, No Limits because they just gained a uh, uh, national ABA champion Did they? The, uh, last weekend. Right. Where they got uh, Lucas uh, Dube uh, who won the I think 51 kilo. Right. Well, congratulations, Lucas. Yeah, and then having his second fight or pro fight, Ellis Grant against Nathan Darby which um, is, a, is a test for him, but I was really impressed with Ellis on his uh, debut. Very good debut. Ho ho hopefully he's 
learn from that, made some improvements and, and look even better. But yeah, he, he's one to keep an eye out for. Then we've got Jay Divine, who's like Jay from the Isle of Man, but living in, in Liverpool and sells well tickets. And it's his fourth fight in probably about seven months. He's, 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 he's been um, active. And to be honest with you, um, very entertaining, isn't he? And the uh, look, looks of a really li live uh, con contender, and I uh, enjoy watching him. He's fighting Jeff Ayers for her, who's uh, a test for everyone. So, um, you know, that'll probably be his last last four rounder. So, um, that, that'll be a good fight. And then we've got two belters to finish. We've got Leon Cooney stepping up to a six against Lewis West from Hull. Both um, Both unbeaten. And uh, Lewis West is like a, a brother of the, uh, the lad who come and beat uh, Jake Robert Anderson Hitchin. down there as well. So they, they, they think they've got a lucky venue. But, um, you know, um, Le Leon's looked extraordinarily good in, in, in his fights. And uh, I'm expecting him to rise to the occasion. But... He will be tested on, on, on Saturday night, so we'll find out what, what he's all about. O hopefully he's going to shine and, and, and come through, but you know that Louis West is going to come and have a go. And um, you know These are fights that people want to see, yeah. and to be fair, they're the fights that the boxers and the trainers are now realising that you know, if they're going to make a living at this, they've got to have these tests, because if the worst comes to worst and he got beaten in a great competitive fight, he can go away and learn and come better. And, um, uh, and, and move on to, to be a champion, which is what we're all about. These, these small old shows are about making champions, yeah. And then talking about champions, um, sent me a video yesterday of the condition he's in. Mason Cartwright is in absolutely fantastic condition, and obviously he stepped up to fight for the British twice and narrowly lost on both occasions. Um, desperate to, to to get another, another crack, and uh, on on Saturday night he's got the surgery on Bombo test whose last two visits to Liverpool, he turned over two VIP kids who are undefeated prospects and uh, he says he wants an hat-trick on, on Saturday <laughs> night, but Mason's not having none of it, so um, I'm, I'm expecting um, a punch-up, to be honest with you, there, yeah. and uh, that, that'll round the night off, and if by any chance we get a chance, we'll, we'll be flipping over as fast as we can over to the, the Echo and, and watching Mark Leach, because um, we might get a chance to do that. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, a good night of boxing at um, the Grand Central on, on Saturday night, mate. Right, well, I'll see you down there on Saturday night. Uh, we are going live again, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Right. And ho hopefully I'll be in fit condition, because I've got my St George's there, I've got my flags on here and I'm about to go out on the smash now, so uh, I'm, hopefully I'll survive today and I'll be ready for tomorrow. And, and you got my me, me wife uh, very, very, very drunk on uh, Wednesday night, mate. I, I'm, I'm being told that she was a bit of a lightweight, yeah. <laughs> Alright, mate, I'll see you Saturday night. Cheers. Bye. Bye. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click on subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.